So Sean has some out of town work meetings this weekend and then he also has a couple events to go to. So he's kind of flying a bunch of places and one of the places is closer to where Ryland's school is. So he's gonna stop by and see Ryland and take her to lunch or something fun. But in the meantime, we've been pulling some things together that she's requested. One of which is dried strawberries. So here's Sean with his dehydrator working on drying the strawberries. I made a whole dehydrator full, a big one gallon bag full. I went out of town two weeks ago and Paisley found it and ate the whole thing. It takes a day and a half to two days to make them. She ate them all in one day. They're so good, but they're a poop ton of work. So we're getting them ready though. Take Rylan so she can enjoy them. Uh, my sprinklers. But the puppies are, oh yeah, there goes Ernest, he's peeing. Oh. We need a treat. Good boy, Good boy Ernest, good boy. good boy! So we're back with the puppies. We gave them a bath so they smell better. And Easton, not Ernest, we had the name wrong. Don't know how that happened. Is uh, buried right here in this little blanket that Paisley set up for him. Little Finn is over here. Totally. Totally out, out. with Sean. Look at his little paws right there. <laughs> his bottom legs are crossed. <laughs> They're very sweet. I don't think any of my children are gonna have a hard time with the puppies this weekend. And Brooklyn and Bailey are excited to come home to see the puppies. Not me. I miss the initial oohs and ahs. Camry had her wisdom teeth taken out. She's resting now. How you feeling, Cams? Good. She's starting to sound more like herself, so the meds must be wearing off. Yeah, I can think pretty normally now. There's still a little bit of like that country twang. Yeah. That's well, because I can't move my tongue. You can move your tongue. See, there it is. Not very well. She's very confused on the difference between feeling numb and feeling swollen. And she's been very funny. So we've been filming the whole thing. It'll be a funny video for later. Brooklyn's over there trying to teach the dog who's the boss. Good morning, everybody. I took a quick trip to Las Vegas and met with Mindy's brother, had a couple meetings there. But the purpose of the trip is that my twin sister's oldest son is getting married in the St. George Temple. I don't know if you can see that back there, that beautiful building. So it's just me, Mindy and the girls couldn't come. So I'm here and I get to see all the McKnight side of the family. Here's my baby holding babies, huh? Hi, puppers. <gasps> Hi, puppers. Ooh. Hello. It's a million mm. degrees outside. Hi, Finn. Hello. Hello, Easton. Oh, hi, Finn. Oh, <laughs> hi, Finn. Hello. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, Paisley? <laughs> Finn, oh, and Easton's eating my toes.
something like a floor mat. Help me through you there. There you go. Yay! We got it. First Clary concert today, right? How did you? Good. Did you sing? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see me when you saw me? What did you do? Smile. You smiled. I saw those big teeth, huh? Saw those big pearly whites looking at me. I like your haircut, dude. Who did that? Not you. I did that, huh? No, you didn't. Yes, I did too. You didn't. How come you're so handsome? Because why? Jesus made me that way. Jesus made you that way. Uh, what are you reading here? Star Wars. It's the Star Wars. What is it? Absolutely everything you need to know. It's updated and expanded. So we're learning about Jabba the Hutt. Did you know that the sound of Jabba the Hutt, Return of the Jedi, was the slimy sound of Jabba the Hutt mainly made by using a bowl of melted cheese? Like on your burger, dude. You're getting Jabba juice on your burger. You want some Jabba juice on your burger? No. <laughs> so today's photo shoot is insanity. We have so many people here. I will take you and show you some of what's happening in the house. We have enough chicken biscuits from Chick-fil-A to feed an army. You guys want to see what's happening here right now, this morning? Check this out. How many people fit in one bathroom? And a big giant camera. A little intimidating, huh? This morning we are in the lab and we are going to actually see some of the product we made on the floor, which is so cool because I haven't ever seen that happen before. So we're gonna go and get all of our lab gear on so we can go in. We're walking into the lab and I have to be like this when we're in there. So I stepped out so I could film for you guys, but we're so excited. I'm freaking out. This is so crazy to see. Mindy is hiding in there somewhere. <laughs> so we're sitting in here. We just got done with the lab tour and they were telling us that they have, what did you say, 150, 160 pallets? Probably, yes ma'am. About 150 to 160 pallets, like we just showed you, getting picked up Friday or Monday. That's a lot. And that's not even half. That's not even... Not half is being delivered that's to like my half, house. That's like, the first, <laughs> that's like the first half of the order. We'll ship more out December. That's like the first half of the half. Yeah. Don't you learn my math. Do so it's a fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so we're about to go see Brooklyn perform in pigskin and to give a little idea about what pigskin is, basically in the springtime at Baylor, a bunch of clubs get together and have a competition and each club comes up with like a song dance performance and then they get ranked at the end and there are a ton of different clubs that do it in the spring and then in the fall time, it's called pigskin is when the top eight performances perform. So our sorority Kayo is actually ranked second place this year so they're performing and Brooklyn decided to join and learn all the dances and so me, Asa, and a few other people are gonna go see her perform tonight. She's so excited and it's gonna be really good so let's go. fostering them for a second time. We're fostering babysitting, babysit. I don't know what it's technically called, um, but their foster mom is going out of town again just for this weekend. So I have them for a couple more days. It's Friday and I think they leave on Sunday, but their adoption um, thing just went up. So I think they're about to get adopted this week and Brooklyn applied to get Finn. So this one, we're gonna the see brown one. The stinker, look at that face. So we'll see if that works out. Um, I think they'll know in like the next week or so, but we have them home until then. They got so much bigger. They're so big. It's crazy, but 